That's right, guys. In today's spicy Minecraft hardcore video, we are going to be transforming the entire end into the deep dock. Well, more specifically, in ancient ruins, we are going to cover the entire end island in skull. Also, resurrect the entire ancient ruins. But before I even get into doing all of that, first of all, I'm going to have to even go to the end nice all right anyways uh as i was saying what i want to do to the end before we even get to transforming it is first of all clean it up because I mean, we got pillars we got you know bridged up to the portal we got all these nasty ugly obsidian <laughs> regardless yeah i'm trying to get rid of all these pillars i'm trying to spawn in all the different portals which means we're gonna have to slay the dragon like 20 more times um oh that's gonna be painful so here real quick what we're probably gonna do first is get to mining down all all of these pillars which i should have probably brought my my beacon but unfortunately so far we're only at one uh fully powered beacon in this world uh it, that we made in the last video if you guys are new to the series this is like what episode five something like that full powered emerald beacon i'll take it let's see if i could just combine all the other blocks that i have and maybe we'll have enough to be able to it's not gonna be enough so i guess for now i'll just uh <clears throat> take this thing with me and then i'll build it back up later hey don't judge me i need uh, i need haste too all right it, uh, there's no way i'm mining down all those obsidian pillars without haste too Boom. There we go. Now we should be able to get haste too. And we can mine down all these pillars. It's just, this is going to, this is going to be painfully, painfully long. Why do I have to start here? At least one thing that's for sure is that it's convenient mining all the subsidian in the uh in the end because i could be able to heal my pickaxe very easily and also can we talk about like how thick these pillars actually are like i mean i would say i got a pretty decent i would say above average size pillar first you know like i mean this not the biggest out here oh my god however uh as i was saying there's just so much obsidian in one of these pillars going all the way up like it's crazy okay enough complaining um <laughs> And now we've officially mined down every single obsidian tower, which this took actually a uh, lot longer than I thought it would. However, I better not ever complain about needing obsidian again because I mean, I have shulker boxes, I have chests at home and uh, yeah, no, there's an infinite amount of obsidian that we have now, which now the next thing that we need to do that's on the agenda is pretty much spawn all of those portals. I want to get a bunch of those to wrap all the way around, which basically the only way to spawn those portals is defeating the ender dragon and to defeat the ender dragon i need to make end crystals and to make end crystals i need to uh slay some gas so now i just need to, to find some though um target acquired moving in for the kill mission accomplished now ideally i'm gonna use my sword for all these gas uh whether i lose the tears in lava or not because uh using looting is life-saving life it changes my life it makes me less espresso depresso number two three seven nine Nine, eleven, thirteen, four, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, now let's see how many we got here. And so I should be able to craft up about thirty-two of these. Wait, am I doing it wrong? Hello? Oh, I also I need eyes vendor. I'm stupid. I don't know why I thought I need obsidian, but now I feel really dumb. Hold on, real quick, I'll go get some. Wait a second. What am I doing here? I'm an idiot. I forgot that I have an overflowing Enderman farm. I got all the pearls in the world that I want. I don't need to trade for those anymore. And then now I can craft up all of these. And so now we got 38 end crystals, which if my math's correct, then I can be able to slay the dragon. Jake, uh, just cut me out using the uh, calculator app. About nine times. <laughs> and now finally I can get to slaying a bunch of dragoon. Wait a second. Wait a second. No. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so painful. I just spent an entire day playing Minecraft, chopping down all these towers for literally nothing. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe, maybe we decorate the towers and we leave them. I'm not, I'm not cutting them down again. Um, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna beat the crap out of a couple dragons. Wait, uh, 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 what? Um, oh, uh, okay. I just get rid of those, I guess. There we go. That should be the last dragon to fill up every single one of these spots out here, which it should be like, what, right there, I believe. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. So now we got all the portals wrapped all the way around the end. I've never actually done this before, and I think it looks awesome. I'm actually, not, like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I've never done this before. I think it makes the end look infinitely cooler. Regardless, now onto the next thing, mining down all the, obs no, I'm just kidding. No, I, like, I, like I said, I'm heartbroken. Uh, <laughs> And these are staying up. Oh! As I was saying, on to the next thing, which is pretty much transforming. <laughs> As I was saying, on to the next thing, which is completely covering the entire end in sculpt. Now, how do I... <laughs> Now, how am I going to do that? Well, by slaying thousands of Endermen, of course. And uh, that'll make sense in a few minutes. However, first things first, I need to find the deep dark or an ancient city. One or the other, either one, it's going to have what I need, which is actually a Skulk Catalyst, which I haven't been to the deep dark in this world even once. Surprisingly, with how much I've been in the caves, usually you find them underneath like giant mountains, like the big thicko mode, like, you know, the big boys, the, the tall boys, the ones that bully all the small boys the only thing is i haven't really found any of those mountains yet i mean this is kind of i mean yeah we'll just take a peek you know as beautiful as this is this isn't what i'm looking for but i will say an exposed mine shaft in a lush biome now that's that's quality minecraft anyways i'm gonna find a giant mountain <laughs> Now that there is a big mountain with a big old hole. Oh my gosh, this is this is wonderful. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this to be so cool on the inside. Oh yeah, now this is gonna have something in it, right? Surely. Oh, here we go. Okay. I see the the skulky goodness that we're after. Oh yeah, that's literally what we're here for, is that right there. So it doesn't look like there's an ancient city, however, this is the deep dark. And like I said, what we're here for is just these catalysts. So I should be able to mine them with silk touch. So then I'm going to pick up a few of these. Uh-oh. Chill, 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 chill. Why are they... Bro, there's other mobs that are setting this off. I'm, I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. I'm literally going to get rid of it. There's other mobs that are setting off the shrieker. All right. But either way, we should be good to go. I got a bunch of these sensors for the aesthetic. Oh, my God. They're so annoying right now. Also, this deep dark is not looking... Uh, it's not looking too dark. I'm not going to lie. And also, just because I'm uh, a little curious here. Let me grab this hoe and just... <laughs> Just hoe all this real quick. See how much XP I can get out of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, found a catalyst. Oh, yes. The scrumptious XP. Now it's time to head back to the end, which is in that direction. So like I said, my method for covering the entire end in Skulk is going to have to do with slaying a lot of these bad boys. Because if an Enderman dies within eight blocks, it creates Skulk. I mean, that's... That's a lot less skulk than I thought. Yeah, this is this is my method. I'm just gonna keep dropping these things down, I guess, and uh, slay a bunch of Endermen. This, this is taking a while, but I do have an idea. Hold on, I, I got an idea. And the idea is that I'm gonna spawn a bunch of iron golems, and it, I can't remember, but I wanna say iron golems will attack Endermen. And if that's the case, I'm just saying this could work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like, look at me, look at me. The only downside is that I need to make sure that I have... Wait, does it not work if he kills him? Oh, it does! Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna place a bunch of these all over the place over here, and I'm gonna spawn a bunch of iron golems, and then I'll just move these catalysts around as the iron golems do all the work let's go baby <laughs> All 
right, so iron golems are effective, but uh, they just, yeah, they, they just got the zoomies, bro. They just keep going. They lock onto one enderman and then the enderman just teleports and then they, the iron golem runs halfway across the end to go get him. But I have another strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set down one of these shriekers and a sensor. And I, I can't remember. I don't think they could summon that warden if I placed down the shrieker. I think it has to be a natural one. Can't confirm. Okay. And with that being the case, I have another strategy because the iron golems are good, but they're expensive. And unfortunately, I don't have an iron farm, unfortunately. <laughs> That's also because the iron farm that I want to make is going to take half my life to make. Um, so what I'm going to do in the meantime is use my fortune pick, not blow up, and just get a ton of iron real quick. Now, finally, after some time and a lot of mining, we got plenty of iron. I've also gathered a couple more skulk catalysts so that we can be able to scatter these around some more. But it is officially time to build our army. Everyone, you will fight as warriors to ruin the end for me. You will do all the work. I don't want to do anything. You understand? Now, let's begin. Okay, well, that one I'm, I messed that one up. Uh, hello? Why are some of these not working? What did I do to you? Okay, well, the ones that aren't working are going to be the chosen ones. You get to be Josiah, which is a subscriber, because I'm going to be naming some of these after subscribers, because that's just what I do in this world. And if you guys want to join the world, comment down below. Let me know what you want to be, or if you just want to be anything. Next up, we got a salmon, salmon bat, and then we got apex miniatures. So here, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to aggro Enderman, and I'm just going to take the Enderman to the iron golems to try to keep all the iron golems in the area oh well that's not gonna work because they're too slow um that's not good come on guys help oh you're all attacking one. Oh, i understand okay here how about we we do that again there we go there we go nice nice okay this actually might work this might work out well anyways out of the three subscribers i've named here let's see which one ends up being the last one remaining <laughs> the next morning now i don't know why i thought skulking the entire end island was going to be easy because it was incredibly painful and the iron golems kind of stopped helping two minutes into this entire project because they started getting stuck for some reason i don't know if it was all the skulk but they kept getting mad and then they stopped getting mad and i also realized that i could just pull them on a lead and and then every now and then they would attack. But for the most part, it was kind of all up to me and I had to kill thousands and, and thousands of Endermen. But I definitely think it was worth it because look at this beauty. Look at it. I think the entire End Island turned out magnificent. Now, occasionally there might be uh, one or two of these. We, we could take care of that though. <laughs> As I was saying though, uh... <laughs> One thing I do actually love about this island is the fact that it looks like a giant skulk catalyst, like the entire thing, because it's kind of white on the bottom and then, you know, it's got the greenish on top. And the more and more I'm looking at the skulk color, the more I'm actually like, dang, that's actually a fire color. I actually like this like greenish blue. Regardless, aesthetics aside, now we're finally onto the next portion of this entire project, which is building up the end city. And like I said, I'm not tearing down these obsidian pillars again. It's it's yeah, it's not happening. Oh. Just think about it. <laughs> but building up this ancient city, I'm either A, gonna have to tear down an ancient city, which means I gotta find one, or B, I could just mine up a lot of deep slate, which if I gotta pick, I'm personally team raid an ancient city since, well, we haven't even found one in this world. <laughs> so it's venture time. Come grab your Paul because we're going to a very scary land. Well, regardless, cringe aside, with one little swoosh of a transition, woo, all right. And now we have an ancient city that I have to be very, very careful in. By that, I mean, I'm literally going to fly right down in here and I'm going to fight a warden and show him who's boss after I raid this place because all of this belongs to me. This is my world after all. So, ooh, we got a notch apple. There we go. We're up to two now. I haven't really been looking for him, but honestly, why not? Okay, yeah. Are these regeneration potions just super common? All right, some more hot garbage. We'll take it. I'm mostly here because are you able to craft these? These, what is this? Chiseled deep slate. You got to be able to craft that right well regardless i'm also gonna just mine down a whole lot of the ancient city because i think it'd be cool to tear down a bunch of the ancient city and move it but also i need to come in here and you know visualize what it is that i'm building because there's a lot of different structures in an ancient city like one thing i want to build is these really long hallways and maybe these little peaky top little looking things little sniper tower thing oh and I'm, I'm gonna need a lot of these and i'm gonna be way too lazy to make i will gladly take those like i said we're mostly here here for the inspiration be able to really visualize what it is that we're building definitely not the loot although i would uh most definitely take some sneaks with and with that being said uh <clears throat> 
There we go. Sneak Swift, even though it's just Sneak Swift 1. But I guess one is better than none. But uh, <clears throat> honestly, I feel like there's not very many Shriekers in here so far. I've been running around totally fine. No qualms. Might not even need Sneak Swift at this point. Not to mention the fact that I'm never getting any Sneak Swift books. All I'm getting, I got Sneak Swift 1 and then it's just trash. Uh-oh. Oh, I found Shriekers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There he is. There he is. That's my boy. Maybe I could become friends with a warden and maybe he'll point me in the direction of all the loot. I will say this thing is a lacking, bro. Oh, one go what in the kind of chest? Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Uh, nothing good. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, I literally can't. Oh, that's wall. Okay, I think I got enough inspiration out of this thing to kind of figure out exactly how we're going to build. I mean, in reality, all I need to do is mine a lot, which I mean, there really is just kind of an endless amount of deep slate in this world. So uh, maybe I just like punch a giant hole into this wall. Just right here there we go we got a bunch of deep slate now so now we're pretty much primed and ready to build up our ancient city our ancient city is obviously going to be way better than this because our ancient city is going to be inside of the end all right well, let's get to work what i'm thinking about doing is branching out in four different directions obviously with this being okay relax champ it's obviously having the portal smack dab in the middle so what i'm thinking about doing is first of all making a bunch of is this is this right okay yeah deep slate brick because i'm like 99 percent certain the whole thing is deep slate and essentially just make a pathway that goes all the way out kind of painful breaking some of this considering how long it took to make i really should be using a hoe also but here we are <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, basically just going to bridge all the way out in a couple different directions. So let's just do that. There we go. A little some, some like that. Kind of like the ending being a little bit jagged, kind of like a, uh, like a fortress. The only thing is, is that these are two story, not transparent. There we go. So I also, I gotta, I gotta make these two story. Um... Now I've made the, the primary portion, the big portion of this thing, which is going to be the center aisle, alleyway, hallway looking things with the uh, the post on top. I, I actually just realized there's no real way of add a couple ladders here and there to be able to get up here. Um, but I do think that this does look a lot better though. I don't know why. Something about it. Maybe it's because I'm biased and maybe because it's mine. Regardless though, now I need to start working on some other miscellaneous structures kind of in between here. And here, one of the first things that I want to throw together is kind of like one of those little chest parts where like you're able to hop up and open up chests and it's like always has chests like 100 of the time so let's just throw one of those together real quick there we go i'm kind of vibing with that just slap a little soul lantern on top of these maybe a little double chest right here in the middle but it kind of gives that same vibe it's not one for one because it is mine after all uh i am building this <laughs> now the next thing i'm gonna attempt to build is gonna be one of those pillar things because there's some these really cool pillars that look like they're supposed to hold up the roof and they're like kind of a combination of a bunch of different blocks but then once it gets to the top it's kind of doing nothing but sitting there because there's no roof to hold up or something i don't know but they look kind of cool i'm not gonna lie they're just trying to raise the roof and i'm gonna build a couple of these in a row yeah kind of like that maybe work on a little bit but you know <laughs> And there we go. We got our pillars. We got one, two, and the third one's taking a nap over here. I had it so it's like knocked down, broken in half. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Kind of odd. Kind of odd. And this one, I'm gonna build a few more of those chest things where it's like it actually has like the chest inside of it. Let me just bing it about the boop. All right. And there we go. Now we got two more chest looking things. And honestly, I'm kind of liking this. Kind of liking this a lot. Probably a little bit more than I expected to. It's something about the end. Like, I feel like the end should have been something something like this to begin with the deep dark is scary and i feel like the end should be scary because it kind of is now the last major thing that i actually want to do is kind of work on these pillars because the pillars are you know there's some oh oh my the pillars are something though and so i figured that we should do something with them since they kind of stand out a little bit too much now what i'm thinking about doing is kind of building up with uh some deep slate and uh, here how about i just do it and then you know you guys can just bam there we go 
now we got all these different like windows and doorway looking type things i don't know i thought it would look cool and i i, I think it does i think it looks cool comment down below do you guys think this looks cool please say yes i spent like four or five days working on this thing and i really hope it looks cool but also comment down below though what you guys want to be in this world should i bring a warden into the end and name it after a subscriber that's a lot of commitment um <laughs> Regardless, though, that's me for this. Chill, bro. I'm doing the outro. Hold on. Two seconds. There you go. Regardless, though, that's me for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. It was a ton of work and took a very long time. However, I think it I think it was well worth it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Join the Paul GG Army. I will see you guys in the next one.